Welcome in Kairudor. Today, we are going to learn very important cases about the deviation, very important cases about the deviation of light in the triangular prism. Be attention and concentrate with me these important cases. Let's start by very important, by a very easy case, which is a, when you say equilateral triangular prism. So it means yes, the angles, the angles of all are equal. It means 180 degrees. We have three angles. 180 divided three equals 60 degrees. So we have 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees. So we can benefit from this to get the refractive angle of the prism, which is 60 degrees. So A here, A here equals 60 degrees. That's for the first case. And it's very easy. But uh, what's about the second case? In the second case, as you see here, here the light ray falls normal. The light ray here falls perpendicular. The light ray falls normal on the side. Perpendicular on the sides. So, the angle of incidence, phi 1, equals the angle of refraction, theta 1, equals 0 equals zero. So the light ray passes in a straight line. So the light ray passes in a straight line until it reaches the other side. Until it reaches the other side. So when I say in any problem, in any problem, in the deviation of light through a triangular prism, the light ray falls normal. The light ray falls normal. The light ray falls perpendicular on one side of a triangular prism. So I can benefit from this information to know phi 1 equals theta 1 equals 0. So as you know, as you know, since A equals, yes, A equals theta 1 plus phi 2. Theta 1 equals 0. So here A equals phi 2. That's for the second case. What's about the third case? Here in the third case, when, when I tell you the ray, the ray, the light ray emerges normal. What does it mean? What does it mean? When I say, when I tell you the light ray emerges, the light ray comes out from the triangular prism normal. It means that. Phi 2 equals 0. Theta 2 equals 0. So, phi 2 equals theta 2 equals 0. As you know, A equals, yes, theta 1 plus phi 2. Since phi 2 equals 0, so A equals, yes, theta 1. So, A equals theta 1. That's for this case. What's about the fourth case here? Here, when I say, when I tell you, the light ray emerges tangent. The light ray emerges tangent on the side. What does it mean? Here, it means that. It means that here, the angle of incidence here equals the critical angle. The angle of incidence here equals the critical angle. Why? Because here, the light ray passes from glass to air, from more dense medium to less dense medium. And when the angle, when the angle in the less dense medium, which is the air, theta 2, the angle of emergence equals 90 degrees, it means that the angle of incidence, the angle of incidence inside the glass here equals the critical angle. So phi 2, phi 2 equals phi c. Phi 2 equals phi c. So, when the ray emerges tangent means that here, theta 2 equals 90, okay? And phi 2 equals phi c. That's for the four important cases for the deviation of light in a triangular prism. So, the smallest angle of incidence that causes the ray to emerge through the opposite side. So, phi 2 equals phi c. So theta 2 equals 90. As angle of minimal deviation increases, the refractive index increases. Please don't forget it. As the angle of 
minimum deviation at the angle of minimum deviation increases the refractive index increases okay that's four let's solve very important examples about the deviation of lights here a light ray is incident normal to one face of a triangular prism of angle 48 degrees the ray emerges tangent to the other face the ray <coughs> emerges emerges tangent to the other face what does it mean what does it mean when the when i say when i tell you the ray emerges tangent it means yes theta 2 equals 90 so phi 2 equals yes phi c so phi 2 phi 2 equals phi c okay so here phi 1 yes the ray emerges tangent to the other face so phi 1 equals theta 1 equals 0 why because in the first part in the first part the light ray is instant normal so phi 1 equals theta 1 equals 0 it's very easy yes and a equals phi 2 equals 48 degrees yes here because a equals yes theta 1 plus phi 2 a equals and theta 1 equals 0 so a equals phi 2 and therefore theta 2 equals 90 so phi 2 equals phi c equals 48 degrees so to calculate the refractive index n equals 1 over sine phi c 1 over sine 48 so n equals 1.345 that's for the first example let's move to another example in equilateral triangular prism a light ray falls on one face of the prism by angle 30 degrees follow its path and determine the angle of emergence and determine the angle of emergence if refractive index of prism is 1.5 let's think equilateral triangular prism means a equals 60 okay May, means a refractive angle of the prism equals 60 degrees okay a light ray falls on one face of the prism by an angle 30 degrees so phi 1 equals 30 okay follow its path and determine determine the angle of emergence of refractive index of the prism if the refractive angle index of the prism is 1.5 here, the angle of incidence, phi 1 equals 30 degrees. The light will pass from, yes, air to glass. So, here, A equals 60, phi 1 equals 30 degrees, N equals 1.5. So, we can use Snell's law. We can use Snell's law. N1 sine phi 1 equals N2 sine theta 1 n1 which is for the air yes equals 1 so n for the glass equals sine phi 1 divided sine theta 1 so 1.5 equals sine 30 divided sine theta 1 so we can calculate theta 1 here so theta 1 will be 19.471 that's for theta 1 to calculate to calculate phi 2 from the relation a equals theta 1 plus phi 2 a equals 60 theta 1 yes we calculated before 19.471 so phi 2 equals yes phi 2 equals a minus theta 1 60 minus 19.471 so phi 2 equals 40.529 40.529 so here we can also use Snell's law. Why we can use Snell's law? Because here the angle of incidence, the angle of incidence is less than, is less than the critical angle. So, of course, the light here, the light here, it comes out. So, n equals sine theta two divided sine phi two. So, 1.5 equals sine theta 2 divided sine 40.529. So, here theta 2, the angle of emergence equals 77.096. That's for this example. The last example for today. A triangular prism of refractive angle 60 degrees. Adjusted. Adjusted to the minimum deviation position. 
position of minimum deviation. It's very, very, very easy example, very easy problem. Because when I say minimum deviation, it is a gift for you. Because I know the relation very well. N for the prism equals sine phi node divided sine theta node equals sine alpha node plus A divided 2 over sine A over 2. So, <coughs> here the angle of the minimum deviation is 37.2 degrees. So, N here equals sine alpha node plus A over 2 divided sine A over 2 equals the four N equals sine 37.2 plus 60 because here the angle, yes, the refractive angle of the prism is 60 degrees divided 2 divided sine A over 2 sine 60 divided 2 sine 30. So, here to calculate finally, yes, the refractive index of the prism N equals 1. 0.5 at the end I hope to understood our problems for today and the very important cases for the deviation of light in the triangular prism thank you and hope to join us to always join us in the next time thank you and goodbye